Hi, this is Ms. Abigail from the Kent Memorial Library, and today is Art and Science Wednesday. Today we'll be, I'll be showing you five watercolor techniques, which are fun and simple for all ages. And all you need is some paper. You can use any paper, but they do suggest uh, watercolor paper, you'd have better results. But I just have printer paper, and that will work. I have clear water in which to rinse the brushes, masking tape, a set of paints which you can get anywhere really, probably hardware store, pharmacy, a grocery store, any kind of soft plastic or saran wrap, table salt, you could also use kosher salt or coarse salt. This I'm using for a palette, but if you don't have that, you could use a paper plate, a regular plate, you can use and use the top of your paint set as a palette to mix colors. And then a scrap paper just to test out your colors so you can see which colors you like. And I'll add a link below to the site which will have more descriptions, examples, and a list of supplies. So the first one we're gonna do is wet on wet. And I've taped the four sides of this paper because it does get wet and it can be frustrating how it moves. So it's best to tape it to I've taped mine to a cutting board, but you could tape it to any kind of board, or you could tape it to other paper. But this seems like a simple way. And I've used, and I've worn a sort of a smock. I've worn an old shirt because I get very messy. So this is my painting shirt and my yard work shirt. You could wear a smock. You could wear a big old t-shirt. But painting is messy. Okay, so that's all wet. I've wet my paper completely. Now, I'm going to take some colors. I might mix them, let's see. Should we use, I, I think I'm just gonna use the top of this lid and see. If I have red, and then I add, oh, I don't know, a little brown. And then I'll see if I like that color. Here's my test paper. Oh, I, like, I do like that. Brick color. Yeah, it's a bit of a brick color. So look how it spreads. That's kind of fun. And that's the adding the wet on wet. Making a flower? I don't know, possibly. More like just I want to try out shapes. I'm not gonna mix the paints, but look what they do by on their own. They kind of, because it's wet. And then maybe I'll use a large brush. See how that works? I might use it straight from the paint set. What does that do? Oh, look, look at that. It makes its own design because the water is it's, it's mixing with it. Let's it looks try. like a flower to me. Yeah, I guess it does. I hadn't even thought to do it though. It's not funny. I'm gonna add a little blue. I think you are very drawn to flowers I... and many designs. <laughs> this is true. I. This is true. She makes flower designs just as a hobby, basically. Well, I just doodle incessantly. I think, don't I? Not as a hobby, but you just do it whenever, really. Yeah. You just kind of. I do vines with leaves and flowers, huh? Very complex pattern that she does without thinking and not even looking at the paper. So look at that. Look how it spreads. Yeah. Can you, did you see that? Yeah, you can see that. That's cool, right? Because of the fibers of the paper. I love it. Like, so you just do whatever you want and then just, that's what it's going to do. And that, you just take it off and you let it sit somewhere else. And when it dries... I'll set that to the side. Oops. All right, I'm gonna do another one. This one will be with, I'm gonna do the wet on wet. So I just paint that, get it thoroughly wet. Once in a while, you would, might want to change your basin or... Oh, yeah, my, 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 my rinsing water. I probably would, but not for to, right now, today. Or once in a while. Yeah, I, I might, usually, probably. Because you can see that the color of the paper mm -hmm. is changing because of the water. 
Yeah, it doesn't really bother me, but I could see doing that or having several jars maybe. You're just gonna have a blue tinted of water. So I'm gonna Wait. tip, tap, just sort of oh. splatter. Now, that's with a wide brush, that's what that did. What if I used a smaller brush? And tap it. You could have smaller drops, and less of them. You know what, I think I'd like to try, I hadn't thought of this, what if I tried the splatter on a dry piece of paper? So I'm gonna switch out. I think it would look better. Yeah, I think it wouldn't spread as much, it would be, but that's interesting. I do like it. It's almost like tie dye. No, I just see an ocean when I look at it. Really? I like it. I just see like, I don't know, just the way it moves. Mm -hmm. The way, I don't know. See how it curves back around at the one part? Mm -hmm. It really looks like a... Yeah, I could see the ocean, sky, and cloud, mountains. All right, now I'm just going to do on dry paper. It's not going to spread that much because there's no water to right. carry it. Right, but I like it. So I'm going to add more colors. I think I'll use smaller brushes and tap, 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 tap. And what if I did, I think I'll try, I'm gonna try the big one to see what that does. Now it's not wet on wet. Lots of tiny small splatters and it's a few big splatters. What other color should I add, do you think? Yellow. Okay. Before. The four most important colors. I think you did blue. I can't tell. I did. I think I did some blue already. You might have been purple. Oh, true. Well, okay. I'll do a little more blue. I can't tell. I'll do a little more blue. Painting is fun. I like make just making designs rather than try to represent something. Ta-da! I like that. For some reason, oh, okay. that's satisfying. Well, it's splatter paint. Yeah, yeah, it's splatter paint. All right, so the next one I'm going to do is sticker resistance. So, we're just going to, any kind of stickers, pat them on, and you're just going to paint around them. I and want to see once those splat, like the splatter ones, it looks like liquid. Um, once the, your paint dries, then you can remove your stickers and what you'll have is where the stickers were an absence of color. So, can you try one of these? oh, I think there's not one. Let's see. Is there one left? Oh, are these not ones that you can no, pull out? No, those are those where stickers once were. Uh, there, that's one. Okay. And here's one. All right. We'll do one more, but Thank this you, just to show the that. idea. So you just paint around it. On top of it. Well, yes. I paint on top, but what happens is just around it, correct? Yes. You didn't want to wet the paper this time? I hadn't thought to, but you're right. That probably would have... Changed the yeah. effect. And made it gone... It certainly would have gone a little faster. I, there's no really right way or wrong way of doing this, for sure. But, so mm -hmm. let me just, purple or blue? I use purple, I use blue. And then let me just show you, because I can't wait for this to dry. I don't have the time for that. But I'll show you this one is where I did it. And then later took the stickers off. Looks very good. It's fun. Yeah. It's just a fun technique. I think it's, it's really kind of like we're experimenting with art. We're not really having something in mind per se. We're just experimenting, which is fun. Okay, so the last one I'm gonna do is with the plastic. You could use plastic wrap, saran wrap. Will you wet it this time? I will, yep. I'm gonna wet, and it's okay. I know it has color, David, um, but that could just be a color wash. I think they call it that. Some people start paintings with a color wash. Yeah, yep. with a base color. Right. So that's kind of fun anyway. Well, I don't think it was from the water. I think it was because you didn't fully rinse out your brush uh, this time. Okay. That's why you got a lot of brown here. I think it's fine, though. Yeah. I like how it spreads when it's wet. And then some yellow. I'm going to just... 
any which way. I love the trails and tails. You see that? Yeah. That's fun. I'm going to do this. <laughs> and that. Now I want, hmm, red. I didn't do a lot of color mixing, but if you, that's certainly another thing is to do color mixing before you use it. I've just sort of allowed the colors to mix as they will. And a little purple, shall we? Yes. Do not mix it with the yellow because it might make brown. Well, I am just gonna dab it around. And I might maybe just do a little tap, tap, tapping. And I love blue. I think blue is a cheery color. Okay, now I'm going to take the plastic wrap and you want it crinkly. So you just crinkle it up like that and so there's no right or wrong way, but you just want to have wrinkles in it and you just leave it there until it dries. Again, I don't have the time for that, but this is one. I don't know, can you see where yeah, I Yeah, you can. I like yeah. it. It's almost like stained glass. It is, that's what I thought when I saw it. Yeah. Or spider webs even. Yeah. So that's or it. Or cracks in glass. That's experimenting with watercolors and that's it for today. This is Ms. Abigail from the Cat Memorial Library and I hope you have lots of fun doing your own experimenting with watercolors. Bye.